hi guys uh, welcome to our channel again so today we'll be looking at uh, Binance and how to buy coins on Binance uh, please uh, do remember to subscribe and hit the notification button to be able to get uh, tutorials and coin reviews easily and you know straight away so let's let's dive in so now this is uh, the home page for Binance this, this looks like a lot you get you know it looks like a lot but there are a few things that we are going to look at to help you you know uh, move forward so if we scroll down we would see oh it's called pairs right so this is the bnb bitcoin pair so there are a lot of there are a lot of pairs here you could see the ethereum classic btc pair you know you can also see the eos ethereum pair you could see bitcoin usdt pair so there are a lot of pairs here actually so uh let's say let's say we want to buy a coin like polka dot so i want to buy polka dot right uh, the ticker for polka dot is uh, d o t so i deposited uh, some bitcoin around hundred dollars at the time to this account so now we want to since i deposited bitcoin i have to go to the dot bitcoin pair i cannot deposit bitcoin and then go to the dot usdt pair i can't it won't work so i have to go to the dot bitcoin pair so here we go uh so right here this is the chart for the bitcoin uh the dot bitcoin pair so at the top here you could see dot bitcoin pair so i'm just going to explain what a pair is so what it means is i can use bitcoin to buy dots that's what it basically means and when i want to sell i can sell my dot for bitcoin so what well, that is it so you can see that one dot is equal to 0 0.0004 bitcoin so which is the dollar equivalent is 16 dollars right so this is what that is what it means so you have to understand what a pair is so meaning i can use bitcoin to buy this pair in this in this account in this trading uh in in this trade right now because i'm in a bitcoin dot pair so here we could see the other book you know this is what the other this is the other book so i'm going to explain what the other book means so here are the list of sellers here are the list of buyers so selling is always in red buying is always in green right so what does it mean these are people that want to sell their dots and they have put the various prices they want to sell their dots so if you look at these prices they are slightly different so they are slightly different from one another from the cheapest to the most expensive so look at it like someone that wants to sell let's say a loaf of bread a group of persons that want to sell a loaf of bread some wants to sell the bread for 10 naira some wants to sell the bread for 9.5 naira some wants to sell for 15 naira so the list of people that wants to sell that bread then the list of people that want to buy that bread with different prices so it's the bargaining power so you know these are list of buyers some wants to buy dot at this price from the most expensive to the least expensive right so now this if you scroll down these are trades that has occurred so these are executed trades so you know this person bought dot at this time so you could see that trades are actually going on so if you look here you could see the bitcoin i deposited here i don't have any dot available so i want to buy dot right so this is the buy and this is the sell so like i said buy is always in green red uh, sell is always in red so you know i don't even know if this is a perfect red but so now when you want to buy there are a couple of things you have to know right so this is what we call limit this is what we call markets and this is what we call stop limit so i'm going to explain this stuff in a minute so you know stay with me now we have to understand that this is the price excuse me this is the price of uh dot right 0.0049479 dot which is also here this is the price of dot so now what it means limit is i can decide the price i want to buy this dot so don't forget we are using bitcoin to buy this dot not usdt bitcoin so this is the price here so i can change this i can say okay i want to buy this dot cheaper 
so i can put here instead of four nine i can put four five so it's a little bit cheaper than what you know it's it's going for so what that does is i can decide to say okay since i don't know maybe i might want to buy eight dots but then the total is uh this in bitcoin but i don't think i have that amount of bitcoin so you see so that's why it's it's actually showing red but to make this easier i can decide to say zero point zero zero two eight so now it shows me that i'm going to get six point uh, two dots so you can come here and type the amount of bitcoin you wish to spend so it's going to tell you the amount of dot you're going to buy as per the amount you're going to get the amount of dots you're going to get as per the price you want to pay for one dot so if we go ahead and click buy what happens is that an order is going to be made meaning i am beginning so the, the trade is not going to instantly be executed it's going to stay until dot price drop to this price then my trade will be executed so if i click buy we would know we will see that you know my trade is you see limit order you know is so if i scroll down i can see my limit order so i'm buying at this price i'm going to get 6.2 you see zero percent field total amount of btc that i'm going to spend is this so this is me using limit order so limit order for example is i go to a, a market and i want to buy bread let me just use, still use bread yeah the first guy wants to sell to me at uh 10 naira another guy wants to sell at 10.5 naira and that guy wants to sell at 10.8 naira but me i say no i want to buy at 9 naira so i have to wait till someone that wants to sell at night 9 naira comes around okay so that is what i just did i just said i'm going to buy this bit uh, this dot at this price so that is what i am waiting for so for the sake of this tutorial you know I'm, I'm just going to go uh, right ahead and cancel this so i can be able to show you you know what market order is let me cancel this order so support order so here it's my here is my order so i will just click cancel so it's completed so i have to go back so here we go uh, let's see if okay ah uh, you see our money is back because I cancelled the order so let's see what what market is so if I click on market I only see a space for me to put the amount of Bitcoin I wish to spend so what is this market market is the market price the current price so let me use this the bread uh, you know analogy again it's like you go to the market and you see different sellers of bread and they've given you their prices but then uh you just when you just walk up to the first person and you ask the person how much is your bread and he says oh, my bread is 20 naira you just give him 20 naira you don't price you don't bargain you just go with whatever the market price is so that is what market is so if i click here you see i cannot bargain i can't put any price here if i click and i say i want to spend 0 0.0027 if i click buy almost instantly i'm going to buy dot but uh, almost instantly i am going to buy dot it it's it, it i couldn't even know how many dot i would get it will give me the market rate which is this and we know this fluctuates so it's going to more like buy at every you know instant and then give me you know the market you know uh, the market price so i won't click buy yet because i want to go to a stop limit let me show you guys what stop limit is so here stop limit so what is stop limit so stop limit is remember we're on the buy side so we want to buy dot so stop limit is let's say the this is the price of dot right now i can say once dot gets to maybe uh let me see zero point zero 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 five zero now it's at four nine when it gets to this price limit means buy 
buy let's say buy five dots for me right so if i click so so uh if i click buy click buy i get like a confirmation you know notification so it says stop limit five dots so it said if the last price rises to or above this amount an order to buy five dots at a price of this will be placed so what it means is saying if dot rise to this point buy this amount for me buy at this price for me you get it's more like you when you go to a bread market you say uh you've seen all the uh the the amount the sellers want to sell but still then you you, you are doubting if you know the price would go up because you will not like if the price goes up or then you're hoping that the price would come down but the price hasn't come down so you now you put up to say okay if the price starts going up um and then i'm going to buy at a certain price so someone is offering you bread for ten dollar uh, ten naira you say no but then you just want to see if you can hustle the person now for the person to give you at uh, you know maybe nine naira but then you have a feeling that the price might go up and then you say okay if the price of this bread goes up to eleven dollars i will give you ten dollars sorry I will, if it goes to eleven naira i will give you ten naira for the bread you get so hoping that the person would then agree to sell for you at ten naira that is what you know that is what this is but then let's cancel most people use this limit uh this top limit mostly for sale right that is when people do, re, uh, use stop limit mostly when they want to sell so stop limit is more like if the price you know, if i click stop limit is if is is like if the price gets to this point sell at this point for me okay for example you you bought bitcoin or you bought a certain crypto let's say at uh, maybe hundred dollars and the price is 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 pumping and you say oh if this price reaches two hundred dollars sell for me at maybe 210 or sell for me at maybe 190 because you just want to go out of the market in profit at the same time you could say if i bought bitcoin at hundred dollars and now bitcoin is dumping if bitcoin dumps to ninety dollars just sell my bitcoin at 90 dollars i don't want to do it again i'm tired that is what stop limit is all about either you sell high or you buy high or you know so it, it, it's pretty simple you know it's pretty simple so let's just go back to buy and let's go to market right so like i said we want to buy dot i'm excited we want to buy dot so uh let's see market price this is the market price for dot and i want to spend all my bitcoin to buy dot so i'll just drag this thing to 100 percent so it uses all the accounts all the money in the account to buy dot so 100 dollars to buy dot so i click buy and automatically you can see it's executed i don't have much bitcoin again i have 5.69 uh dot currently so that is it you guys i now own dot so if i go to wallet overview so guys yeah this is my wallet overview so you could see i have 103 dollars this is the bitcoin uh, equivalent estimated balance so fiat and spot so let me click fiat and spot so you could see it gives me the breakdown of the currencies I have. So I have polka dot, which is 5.69 uh, polka dot. So you could see the Bitcoin value. So this is it. We have bought polka dot successfully. Now with the method I've shown you guys, you can virtually buy any coin that is listed on Binance in any pair. So you now understand what a pair is and how you can buy a coin using another coin or a token using another token. So this is it for the spot market.
right using another currency to buy another currency that is that is it basically so i hope you guys understood what this tutorial is all about and you guys you know have an idea or can actually execute a trade on your own right so first of all all you have to do is deposit a certain crypto be it usdt ethereum or bitcoin right and then use that uh, uh deposited crypto to try and buy your you know the crypto that you want but then you have to make sure that that pair is there for example if i deposited maybe uh bnb and i wanted to use bnb bnb being binance coin and i wanted to use bnb to buy let's say uh doge doge coin i must make sure that doge has a bnb pair right and there is no bnb pair for doge meaning i can't use that my deposited bnb to buy doge so i must make sure i either have bitcoin busd euro uh, I don't know what this is or USDT. So if I deposit a BNB in hopes to use BNB to buy Doge, I can't be able to do that. Except I will now go and convert my BNB to USDT. So if I go to BNB to BNB pair, I can see uh, a lot of pairs here. Let me see if I can find BNB USDT. So this is this is the BNB USDT. So I have to now convert my BNB to USDT, then use this USDT to buy uh, Dogecoin. So I hope this uh, this tutorial has been very informative to you guys. You can join us on our Telegram group where we you know, answer your questions and you know make reviews on coins. Uh, you know, uh, it it will be very awesome to see you guys there. But for now, uh, thank you very much, guys, for sticking with us. And don't for forget to uh, like, subscribe to the channel so you could get you know more notifications and get more videos and get yourself educated in the crypto space. Thank you, guys, and stay safe. Bye.